So this part is probably going to be a little less uh, in terms of run time. It's probably going to only be 20-25 minutes, all the other videos in this playthrough are going to be 30-35. to 35, But I've got to have my tea and I need a save point to come up and we've still not seen one <laughs> in absolutely ages. So <clears throat> I would have wanted my first save to be just after Plant 42. <clears throat> but it looks like it's going to be at the start of the courtyard area. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter that much, but it's the Elder. So I never really worry about proximity with this guy being like that far away from him. It doesn't really matter, even though it's a shotgun you've got. You don't want this guy to be close to you, but you've got a shotgun, and shotguns are good from close range, so... <laughs> Play dead, motherfucker! Really looking forward to Play Dead's next game, ladies and gentlemen. If you're wondering who Play Dead are, they're the guys who made Limbo and Inside. Those weird 2D platformers, very minimalist, very spooky. But very beautiful as well. I like the fact that you can see the crimson head though. That's sick. Right, so we've got the metal stone object, now we can get to the courtyard area. I tend with Chris to forget to get the magnum immediately. But I want to get it because when the hunters arrive, I want to kill a few of them with the magnum just to alleviate any possibility of them killing me. Because in this game, and it's something I totally disagree with, you can get insta-killed on fine by a hunter. By them jumping at you and... They should have saved that for either hard mode only. Or. Um, when you're not on fine. You could be on yellow or caution. That'd be okay. Because this game, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know. Yellow caution, you don't limp. You only start limping in orange caution. For the love of Christ. Doggos. So, oh yeah, I have to actually go to the Lisa Trevor part first anyway because... Um, you get the crank this way, so I don't have a choice. I was thinking to myself that I had a choice, but I don't. Anyway, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. Don't forget the wind crest, Alex, because I always forget it here, and I end up getting the Magnum just before the Lisa Trevor fight. And you can, not least, yeah, the Lisa Trevor fight, the second one, just before you get into the lab. I think that's right, anyway. Or I'm talking bullshit. Whoa, I just heard a low rumble, a low growl that reminded me of a freaking Necromorph from Dead Space. What the hell? Always remember the first one, not always. I don't always remember the second one, and I've fucked it up here. So the opposite of east is west, so I believe we need to go north. <clears throat> I got a 200 IQ, and you better watch out, ladies and gentlemen. You know why? Because I'm coming through. Coming straight through with my 200 IQ.
Lisa Trevor. Now, the thing is, Lisa Trevor always damages me. Like, you can move back and she'll still damage me. I don't know how to avoid it. I think the MLGers will know how to. But I don't. Now, she deals you a lot of damage. Like, on normal, with 100% health, it tends to be the case that you go down to yellow caution. But there's a chance of orange caution, I do believe. And if that happened, then carrying the green herb that I've currently got would not be enough. And I don't want to take damage and then go back to the box, then go in front of Lisa again, because she could damage me once more. So what I'm going to do is preempt a lot of damage and take that out. I need the crank. If I take the damage, I can use a health item and move on. Got the wind crest. Yes, indeed. Surprise, motherfucker. I might try and shoot her here once and then move on. I've got the ammo too. If I mean, if she flinches, it's good, but she probably won't. Yeah, there you go. MLG, greatest gamer living. Anyone gonna argue with that? So, I think I'm gonna start doing that, you know, because what I used to do was, like, take a step back. You know when, like, a zombie leaps at you? Doing what I did there, I don't think that is going to always work. Be wary of that, dickhead. But it worked then. I also shot her as well before just moving on. Lisa in chains. Uh, she run too far to go. Yeah. I could listen to that song once a day till the day I die, if I die of old age, which I'm probably not going to, and I'd never get bored of it. You know what I'm saying? But that probably is the case for most of Alice in Chains' music as well. <laughs> Alright, so I can go for two at a time here. I hate how long this puzzle takes to do, man. Not even a puzzle, but you know what I mean. You've just got to examine the back of the crests, but you don't need to input them in a certain order or anything like that. I said to myself I wasn't going to do this in one sitting, but now I kind of want to. I mean, I've got to have my tea, but what I mean by one sitting is today. If you don't know, ladies and gentlemen, it's a Sunday afternoon, the coming evening. It's just hit 5pm exactly. But uh, tonight, I've got to exercise, which will take an hour. And the closer it gets to the working week, like once it gets to the evening, 8 or 9 o'clock, I don't want to be playing games. I just want to be relaxing, listening to music or doing anything that's chill. So it's kind of looking like it's going to be Tuesday, not Tuesday, tomorrow when I... Play the rest of this and complete it. But there's the Magnum. It's a game changer. And you better believe that it is beyond satisfying. Scatter the crows. So we've got a few um, zombie monkey dogs coming up. Should be okay, but there is a slight chance that they could get me. So Wesker is going to restock this area when we come back from the courtyard with more goodies. And that's around about the time 
when the hunters arrive. That is the time that I wanted to make my first save. Instead, it's going to be my second save. This is Chris. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat. This is Br Brad. This is Chris. Brad. Damn. Things broken. So of course it is the 4th of August 2019 today. And often I like watching back my old videos where I make predictions of... Oh, this RNG is not good. This RNG is not good. These two can just go anywhere they want. This RNG is not good. Fuck it. I lied. It's drum and bass. What you gonna do? Fucking love that album. Pendulum, Paul Joe Colour. The first album. Proper drum and bass. My god, it's amazing. And then they became big in the mainstream and made music that was more watered down. Not as good, but the first album. Holy shit. A lot of music references, ladies and gentlemen, but I can't help myself. So this is one of the main puzzles of the game, and on everyone's first playthrough, whether it was the original Resi or Remake, it's, I think, a part that people remember, because it takes a long time in the game to actually solve this puzzle. Because only natural progression through the game will allow you to do it, and... Uh, Oh, so no snakes here. But this is the area that I spoke of before with the snakes, where they can get you. When I got you, I get you. But yeah, my prediction, and this is August 2019, so probably this time in six months, or at least a year, people are going to know different, but... I think Capcom are going to release Resi 8 before they release Resi 3. And all this talk of them... Giving the Resi Free duties to a different development team, another company. I think it's probably going to be true. Those snakes never get you unless you stop. The courtyard area of the game. So this is finally where I'm going to pick up a, an ink ribbon. Let's actually find out if there's one in the box. I genuinely can't remember if there is. Yeah, there's already three in the box, so it should be fine. Although I am going to be saving the game, I think, five times altogether. So I'm just going to take those three extra. Quite a few blue herbs around here. There's a lot of poisonous enemies. Don't need the crank now. Going to put that back. Um... But there's also a new enemy, ladies and gentlemen. Plant 420. And Plant 420 can damage you through the freaking floor. And he can knock you onto caution, and it's vulgar. And this box, you can put it into two places. You can put it where I'm going to put it, and you can also put it to the right as well. And I can't remember where the best... I think it can get you regardless. I think I just realised... That that's a dumb place to put it. I can't remember. At the end of the day, he's only going to grab me a couple of times. Look at this. Best moment of the game. One of the best moments of the game. Look at that. That is sick. So there is a reason we are coming in here. Other than health items. And ammo. And it's for the red book, which is a key item. Hopefully this guy doesn't poison me. It's rare, but there's a chance... Spooky spiders. Justice for the resi spiders. Bring them back. They weren't in resi 2. 
So I'm going to immediately just put the red butt back. I did say my first save would be at the courtyard area. But the way I've got to time it is my save has got to be when I come off the game. I mentioned that and why in the last part, but... I've only been recording 15 minutes, so I can't save it yet. Because that door there, we've got to unlock, but I need the key. I'm going to get the key from this away. Yeah, I'm a retard. You meant to put that box next to the other box, if you will. But you can learn from my mistakes, kids. I put in work for this all for the kids, but you can't seem forgot what work is. Nemesis gonna give it to you. He gonna give it to you. That is definitely the way that they can make Nemesis work in the remake of Free. By making the encounters with him very fleeting. Meaning that he's there and if you kill him, awesome, you've done very well. You'll have to work hard to kill him. But if you don't, he'll just disappear. You know? Now that's easy with the old Resi games because you go through doors like that. And then he just disappears and he's not there. It might be harder for them to pull that off with Remake 3. But they've got to try in my opinion. They've got to try. Because having him exactly the way that Mr. X is. Will be an anti-climax. And it's just not going to be good at all. It's going to be frustrating for a lot of people. The decision, decision to make Nemesis, not Nemesis, Mr. X an all-encompassing, unkillable enemy is still, in my opinion, one of the most shocking decisions in video game history, yet most people love it. Crazy. Might play a Resi 2 remake again soon, because I still, although the longer it gets, the less I want to do it, I still need to do Claw Hardcore on the channel, but... It's a good three or four months since I played Re Remake 2. And if I did it right now, I'd get destroyed. Right, so we've got a health item. We've got the control key. We're actually going to go down into the sewers. Where there is a pure monkey shake moment. With the sharks. And yet again ladies and gentlemen. It's a little bit of Shinji Mikami. RNG magic. Because sometimes you get bit. Sometimes you don't. Yeah I don't care about plant 420 you dickheads. I think there's ammo in one of those drawers. But the game doesn't seem to want me to know about it. That zombie is definitely not dead. The best play dead enemies in the series, or play dead zombies, are definitely in Resi 2. Because they did that a lot. People really got used to, in the original Resi 2, them turning the heads when they were on the floor. That was so sick. So funny. Yo ho bro ho, so I heard you like pushing boxes. So I, I might have referenced them, I definitely re referenced them on Twitch while streaming, but during a YouTube video I don't know if I have. But there's a new game coming out anytime soon called Damer 1998. And if you were disappointed by how Resident Evil 2 Remake didn't really feel exactly like the original game, that game might please you. From the guys who atten initially attempted to remake 2 before Capcom officially stepped in and said they do it. So 
So there's a green herb here, and I think it's probably one of the most genius placements for a green herb in the game. Because if I do get bit by this shark here, I'll be glad of that second health item. Thing is, oh, Richard's here, Jesus Christ. Richard! Chris! Chris, stop! No! Shark food. Richard. Sharks ain't nothing to fuck with. Sharks ain't nothing to fuck with. RNG ain't nothing to fuck with. RNG ain't nothing to fuck with. Still on fine, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what's he doing? Last time I played this on Twitch a couple of weeks ago to practice this run. I didn't get bit, but this time I have. And that is why that green herb placement is such genius. Because now, I can just allow myself to heal up and get back to 100% health. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the most annoying voice in video game history. And I always forget which order to do this puzzle in, but basically pressing all the buttons will eventually work well for you. Emergency, emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. I've had it with these goddamn sharks in this goddamn mansion basement. Whoa, what's he doing, that shark there? Swimming about like he owns the place, lads. What? The hell's going on here? Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Have it. Oh, and we've got to uh, drain the water, of course. <laughs> so the thing is, you do have the opportunity now to take Richard's shotgun. And yeah, I would say Richard's shotgun is better than Chris's. But because Chris's inventory is so limited, I'm just not going to take it. You never really need to take it, even as Chris, in my opinion. You aim it a little differently. It's a bit faster. I don't know in terms of power if it's more powerful. But as you can see, now we're really stocking up the shotgun shells. And there's also some magnum bullets coming up. And I would say we're about 50% of the way into the game now as well. Jaws! Flipper! Moby Dick! Not many people are going to understand why I'm saying that in a Scottish accent. But if you do, put a comment in the comments box. <laughs> Flipper. Oh, dear lord. Big Willy. Or Free Willy. Not big. Right, we've got the residence key. And now we're ready to go back to the courtyard area. There's a shotgun on the floor, by the way, if you want to take it. But I am not going to. So 
So I should be able to save just before plant 42. Wanted to save just after, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to make a difference. Unless I die to one of the hunters in the mansion. And for me, replaying this game quite a lot as I have, because it's a masterpiece. The most common place for me to die is to a hunter going back to the mansion. But the hunters in this game are nowhere near as vulgar as they were in the original. Those guys were outrageous. So I've got a new hashtag, ladies and gentlemen, that I'm including on everything. Oh! Crimson Head doesn't care about hashtags. What? Right. That scared the absolute shit out of me, that. Fucking hell. Oh my lord. Alright, the residence key is here. No further use for it. Um, unfortunately, I've got to come off now. Which means I'm going to take some extra unnecessary damage from Plant 420. Piece of shit. But whatever, doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. That was so spooky, that. When I heard that rustle. Because that's the thing with Crimson Heads in this game. You hear that noise. You hear them running. What? Game that's retarded. You hear that noise, you know, the rustle of the claws as they're running at you. And the breathing, it's like, oh shit. He turned into a crimson head so quickly though, so that's based on game progression. His turning into a crimson head is purely based on game progression. So, ugh. I don't know if there's a green herb. I'm going to save the game at there anyway, so I don't need to really worry about it, but. Got plant 420 coming up. I'm probably going to save the game. Just after as well, so I don't need to do this part again. But I'm really enjoying this so far. I'm talking a lot of shit. My voice is hurting. And from here, it's probably going to take me, I'd say, maybe another hour and a half to complete the game. Two hours. But I think it's probably best that I do the rest of this on Tuesday. I mean, I've only got two hours to play games in midweek after work anyway, but I might just about have enough time. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. This game's an absolute masterpiece. And I'll see you guys for the next part. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.